All right, here's a look at your first alert weather forecast. We're tracking a severe risk for Friday. It is a first alert weather day, and we want you to know that there's a chance we could see another round of strong to severe storms, very similar to what we had in place yesterday. So let's get to it. This is what we called an enhanced risk. That's the area in the orange. We're oftentimes telling you about slight risk and marginal risk, but the enhanced risk is a level three. That means they're expecting stronger storms and they're expecting storms that could produce a tornado. Even though it could be short lived, it could be brief. It could produce a lot of damage in a short amount of time. That time frame is mainly going to be from about 3 o'clock to 11 o'clock altogether. But I'd say the worst batch coming through probably as we head through about 8, 9 and 10 o'clock. Now we'll have another line that'll be coming through, which will certainly be pretty strong, but I do think that we need to really worry about that second batch that's going to come through. So let me break it down for you so you get what I'm talking about. So we're looking at your future cast with your wind gusts. This is the way I expect the radar to look tomorrow at this time. This is about three o'clock. We're looking at the showers and storms just really getting going in our area. Wind gusts will be going to about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Winds coming in from the south, staying at about 30 miles per hour, getting up to about 35 miles per hour at five o'clock. These are showers and storms at five. These clusters could do strong damaging, uh, could have strong to damaging wind in it and could do some damage. This is about five o'clock. This batch leaps off to the north and to the east. We then get just gusty winds and cloudy conditions. We then get another batch of strong storms coming in from the west. At this point, this is the line that could certainly do another round of damage and we could see wind gusts going up to 50 miles per hour. This is about eight o'clock. It's dark. You can't see very much. Make sure you're inside. You're at home. You're safe at this time of day. We get to about nine. Still watching those clusters producing 50 mile per hour winds. They continue to shift to the north and to the east, holding on to wind speeds over 50 miles per hour, even as they get closer to I-95. At this point, I'd say 10 o'clock, we get clearing in areas like Chester, Newberry, and Saluda, but we're still in the thick of it in Manning, King Street, Orangeburg, Sumter and Bishopville. It's all out of here by 11 o'clock. The clouds are in place. The winds start to pick up. So let's be mindful of very, very gusty winds behind the system. It's not going to produce a whole lot of rain. Flooding is not going to be our major concern, but rain will come down steady and hard during the midst of the storms as they go through the area. All right, now we pack that up. We think about tonight, which is not a first alert weather night. It is going to be chilly, though, down to about 34. But because it'll be breezy at times, I'm not expecting there to be a lot of frost development. And then here's your 10 day forecast. The first alert 10 day forecast shows 60 for you on Thursday and then your Friday at 65. Couple of showers and storms in the morning, but most of the energy and activity for the afternoons and evenings. And then this weekend, it'll be chilly and breezy. Just 50 degrees for your Saturday.